Um, I heard from DRA late on Friday. They're ready to set our tax rate. I don't want to say finally, but I'll say finally. Um, so tonight I dropped a little packet on your desk because yep. I worked with them late Friday and into the early afternoon today um, to come up with what our preliminary rate is. I always point out that it's just a preliminary rate. Nothing is set in stone until the board decides what it chooses to do in regards to use of unassigned fund balance or non-use of unassigned fund balance. It's completely up to you. I expanded a little bit on this sheet here. It provides you with a little bit more history than what you've had in the past. Right. Um, That's good. The municipal rate for 2017 uh, was $6.32, and the total tax rate for the town for 2017 was $16.37. Right now, as we sit uh, doing nothing, <laughs> meaning using none of the assigned fund balance, the municipal portion goes down to $6.27, so it's down about five cents. And the overall tax rate for the town goes up to 17.02. Uh, the breakdown there, the increase is related to the local education and I, their bond payments coming on. So their rate actually went up 0 0.68 cents. So 68 cents a thousand. So um, <coughs> that kind of gives you the breakdown. So basically in the second chart there, it shows you the estimated is right now at 627. And then if you use 250,000, 500, or 750 or a million, it gives you the breakdown of what the tax rate would, the municipal portion would go down by. Um, shows you how much fund balance that we have and then what the retention guidelines are according to DRA and what the town management recommends, which is the 5% recommendation from DRA plus your outstanding taxes, which I did get from the tax collector as of today is the one million sixty five thousand one hundred and fifty dollars so um that would bring the fund balance retention to four million three sixty seven four fifty nine wow. and then i did provide some additional sheets for you just showing you how much fund balance has used in the past the years that we didn't use fund balance um how much our unassigned fund balance has been and you can see in the past couple of years, it's been 7.43%, 9.8%, 10.18%. Um, and then, like I just pointed out to you, Fred and I are looking to the future. And I think even Regina pointed out that the debt payments are going up year after year. So um, in future years, it may be helpful to have some of this unassigned fund balance available to offset the taxes then because the school portion's already going up because of the bond that was passed and the right. voters, right. you know, voted for that. So that's not a bad thing, but it's just affecting the tax rate. And now um, the municipal portion actually went down, but in the next out by like 2023, the municipal portion will be going up um, because we will be taking on more debt in those years. Yeah. So. I don't know if Fred has anything else to add to that, but that kind of gives you my rundown from a financial standpoint. Yeah. Excellent. Only if you're going to um, try to keep the, the municipal portion of the tax rate as stable as possible, you need to use as little of this surplus this year as you can right. uh, from a political standpoint. Uh, you're going to have to chunk a lot of money in in the next two and three years in order to keep things stable. Mm -hmm. If you spend it now, you will not have it. Right. And from looking at our current budget, I believe, Madam Director, that uh, <laughs> if I remember your admonition today, we are within a, a little less than $70,000 of the bottom line of the budget mm -hmm. on a per rata basis for this time of the year. Yeah. Yeah, so we're $70,000 to the plus where we should be somewhere between four and five hundred thousand yeah. dollars to the plus. Yeah. So we're going to have a very scant year putting money in surplus this coming year. Yes, unless something changes drastically, because like Fred said, usually at this point, because I am working to get the end of September financials done right now. I've been so busy on budgets that kind of got put to the side, but I worked on them last night and we're about 62 or 69, I think, thousand to the good right now or under budget which is very slim when i come to you in a cup i think it's probably next week my financials are on you'll see that last year we were probably at like three four five hundred thousand so 
Um, yeah. We're still sleeping right now, but in next month or the month after, if we're at that narrow over margin, that's when we all stop sleeping. So, mm -hmm. um, and those know. are the financials through September. Correct. Those so. are only through September, so we still have three more months. But if we keep on track, Alfred, I think, is trying to point out is that we're not going to be under budget in the significant way that we may have been last year. I think last year we ended up with like 700,000 or something or 500,000. So this year it looks like it's going to be a lot closer of the end of year. So it's no more rail okay. trails. So do, do we by. have to vote on this now? If the board would like, the tax collector um, would definitely like to get those tax bills out. I'm sure the treasurer will soon agree with her because as of right now, if the board votes tonight and we get a tax rate, it'll probably be Tuesday or Wednesday before we get it, and the bills will be due, I think she said, around the 6th of December. If we wait another week and you guys wait till next week to Christmas. make a decision, the tax the bills wouldn't be due till she thinks between the 13th and 15th. These are only guesstimates right now. Yeah. We don't know that cause she has a new yeah. print, a new bill printer um, who's going to need a few more days to print them, but it all depends on um, first how fast we get the tax rate, but I'm been pretty I've been assured that we'd probably have it by Wednesday at the latest mm -hmm. um, and then I think she said Ed was coming in on Thursday so he'd be able to run from um, he'd be able to run the warrant and then we'd get it off to the bill printer and our best guess is that taxes would be due around December 6th or 7th and if we wait a week she's guessing about the 15th or so and those are just guesses I want to point out one thing first because yes. I took my July bill before I came in tonight. And so the tax rate for the town, per your estimate, yes. is going to be five cents less. It's yes. going to drop from 6.32 to 6.27. Yes. That's if the board chooses to do nothing, yes. Right. That's if the way it's, it would that's stand right now. That's the preliminary rate nothing. that we received from DRA today, yes. Okay. So. The county, I'm assuming, is that still a dollar? The county is going to be up two cents. I did my own little breakdown. Municipal will be down five cents. The county will be up two cents. The local education will be up 0. 0.68 or 68 cents. And then the state education is at zero. Okay, so. From, that's comparing 17 to the preliminary for 18. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't know if the board is ready. I'm ready to vote tonight. I think we should take the advice of the town manager. He's uh steady the tax rate for us at the town level and i think we need to keep it that way we're going to be having we're going to be getting hit with some real borrowing expense i'd just like to hear a specific motion with your thoughts and hey, I, I have some questions first. yeah okay. Good. I, I think mind. jim yeah um so currently our unassigned as of 12 31 17 the unassigned balance seven million four hundred ninety nine thousand four seventy seven yes and subtract from that 420 Yes. Okay. Which gives us an unassigned balance of seven million seventy nine four seventy four seventy seven. Yep. Okay. Which is what percent? It's uh let's see here. It's right on here. I think it's like ten point seven two. Ten point seven two. Yes. And the, the recommended is between five and seventeen. Yes. Okay. From Plus DRA the, from the, DRA guidelines, yes. Right, 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 right. So their minimum would be 3.3 and their highest is 11.2. Okay, and we don't expect to be able to put anything into that this year, right? I, well, we hopefully we'll be able be to small. put It'll something in there because if we don't, I yeah. will right. be very stressed out. So, but so yeah, that, it'll be small clear. though, is our best guess, correct, Fred? <laughs> a couple hundred we're gonna, maybe. We're gonna try to put everything we can in there because we're gonna shut money off starting tomorrow. Okay. Okay, but that's there are certain things we just have to yeah, do. You don't know about snow. Snow's coming, heat's coming, et cetera, yeah. et cetera. Right. So. But I mean, so that, that gives us still a decent little nest buffer. egg. Yeah. And we should most likely this year leave it there since we're going down anyways. That that's would be my recommendation. Advice. That's your advice. I agree. I would love to do it with a full board here, but if, we, if the tax yeah. bill has to get out, I'm ready also. And I'm ready also. Yeah. I just want to hear the specific wording of the motion. Okay, so I make the motion that we will not offset. I would just say that I would make a motion to not um, use any of the unassigned fund balance fund to balance. offset the tax rate. 
Okay, I will make a motion to not use any of the unassigned fund balance to offset the tax rate for 2018. That. Okay. I'm in favor. Okay, all in favor. Okay. Okay. And that is all I had. I 